Well, here we go. This will be fun. From robots that can complete advanced tasks to ones that can have a conversation with you. Hey, I'm Chris, and here are nine of the most advanced robots on Earth. Number 9. Kodomoroid The dream or nightmare for various people when it comes to robots is that they'll one day replace us. Well, in some instances, they already have including becoming a news anchor on a live TV show. This is actually what happened in 2014, when Japan unveiled the Kodomoroid, a robot that was able to understand the news story being fed to her, recite it to a live audience, and even interact with co-hosts to a certain degree. Plus, Kodomoroid was designed to resemble a Japanese woman, and she's pretty convincing. And that was five years ago. It's grown since then. The important thing to note here is that Kodomoroid was fed the news story from a teleprompter. So that means her processor was able to read the text and interpret what exactly to say. Just like a human brain. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. The brain of a robot, so to speak, is arguably the hardest part to make on a robot, which is why advances like these are so important. Sadly, Kodomoroid is retired as a news anchor. However, she is part of the Natural Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, which is in Tokyo. She's still active, though, and helps people by giving them information and gathers information on how people interact with the lifelike robots. Number 8. Atlas the two most important parts on a robot are its brain slash processor and its body. And for the Atlas, the team at Boston Dynamics are working hard to ensure that their robot has the most advanced robot body in the whole world. And to an extent, they are succeeding in that goal. Atlas is one of the few robots in the world that can both walk and jog on bipedal legs. In fact, Atlas has very human-like proportions. It's 5'9 and weighs only 176 pounds, which is a pretty big improvement over the previous model of the Atlas. However, the Atlas has gone through some major improvements over the last few years, including being able to discern obstacles and knowing how to get around them. Previous tests had it stopping at rocks, then slowly moving past them. And in a recent test, it understood a log was in its way, stopped itself, and then jumped over it, which is a big feat for a robot if not for us. More than that, the speed of the robot's jog is significant, because if it can go at a steady speed without braking, it means it can also go faster and further. The Atlas is so advanced, it even has wheel feet it can use to get around even faster. Maybe a future soldier. Perhaps. Number 7. Milo Robot The Milo Robot proves that in the right hands and the right minds, robots can help do what humans can't even think of doing such as helping a child deal with autism. Autism is one of the worst mental illnesses around because of how it affects the human brain. And in a child, it's extremely hard to comprehend and understand things. The Milo robot was designed by Robokind in order to help children engage with others and understand their own emotional state. The Milo robot will mimic the expressions of humans. Then via an iPad, the child will interact with him and guess what he's feeling, thus helping them understand themselves. Furthermore, the Milo robot will be able to interact with the child using visual cues and can monitor their heart rate with a special vest in order to ensure that they're acting appropriately and to alert the parents to any issues with the child. According to the tests, the Milo robot gets a very deep response from children. So much so that 70 to 90% of children who have the Milo robot interact with it. And with a child with autism, interaction is key. Number 6. Petman A collaboration between the United States Department of Defense and Boston Dynamics has given birth to Petman, a unique robot with the function of helping test various suits that human soldiers would wear in the field. So how does it do this? Well, Petman has the ability to walk, bend, move about in certain ways, and more. But what's just as important, though, is that the Petman has very high-tech sensors. Sensors that monitor not just its whole body, but the suit itself. By that, I mean if it's testing a hazmat suit, it would be able to detect if a scratch or cut in the suit was there, thus letting harmful chemicals in. It also has a monitor that detects its body temperature, enabling even more accurate data to the test itself. The groups are using this robot as a test dummy of sorts. 
but doing far more with it than any true crash test dummy can do. Through the Pet Man, all sorts of special suits and items can be given a realistic workout without having to put people in danger, as well as giving them the ability to test things in a confined space without having to stop every time something goes wrong. Number 5. Bina 48 The Terrasim movement teamed up with Martin Rothblatt in order to create a very sentient robot in 2010. It was actually based off of Rothblatt's wife, Bina Aspen Rothblatt, and because of that it was named Bina 48. This sentient robot is capable of human interaction and has actually been interviewed in person by the New York Times and was also featured on TV and in National Geographic. What's key here is that Bina 48 is an example of artificial intelligence, which is one of the most important fields in robotics today. If you watch the interview with the New York Times, you'll see that she not only responds to questions, but she doesn't even hesitate at times to answer, proving that she didn't need to think that hard about answering. Not unlike how a human does it when they chat with someone. And because of the very nature of artificial intelligence, Bina 48 gets smarter and more efficient with every conversation. Or as she notes, my vocabulary is getting bigger every day. And since it's been 8 years since Bina 48's arrival, AI has only gotten better, which shows just how much we've advanced in such a short period of time on the subject. Number 4. XOGT there are many levels of robots, and one such level is that of an exoskeleton. These are typically used on humans to help them do various things. And in Marvel Comics, Tony Stark made himself a robotic exoskeleton to become Iron Man. In the real world, though, there are devices like the ExoGT, which are robotic exoskeletons designed to help people with serious spinal injuries move again. Made by ExoBionics in Richmond, California, the team have made it so that someone who wears the exoskeleton only has to do minor movements in order to get the exoskeleton to move the rest of the body for them. Given the nature of spinal injuries, this is a big step forward. This exoskeleton has many possible uses including being able to help many people walk again, assist in physical therapy of all sorts of injuries, and via the software embedded in the exoskeletons, it can help monitor the subject's body and alert the necessary people if something goes wrong. Number 3. Neo One of the first androids that was made was called Asimo, and it was named after the legendary author Isaac Asimov, who wrote the laws of robotics to help ensure that humanity never fell prey to their robotic creations. Generations later, the Neo has picked up where the Asimo left off. And what's more, this is actually a robot you yourself can get. But that begs the question, why would I want such a robot? Because it's interesting to see how a robot can move nowadays and interact with its owner. The Neo is able to walk in very lifelike ways and at a good rate of speed. It also has sensors that ensure it doesn't accidentally run into things. Though things can run into it, obviously. Plus, the software aspect of Neo is malleable. And due to this, people have made apps that can run with Neo's software to allow even more tasks to be done. Some people have even used this robot to assist with autistic children. Number 2. Nadine in sci-fi, the robots and androids you see are meant to perfectly and close to perfectly mimic humans. And that's exactly the goal of the robot called Nadine. She's a robot that's designed to talk and interact with humans in a way that feels natural. By that I mean that she doesn't just talk with people, but she also uses hand gestures head moves, and other little things to make herself seem even more human. If you were to walk into the room and talk to Nadine, she would look at you, greet you, follow you with her eyes until you sat down, maintain eye contact with you when she chats with you, and if this is a repeat visit, she'll even recognize you. Or if you talk about certain things, she can become happy or sad to a certain extent. The robot was actually modeled after the director of the project. Nadine Magnanat Thalman, and the more advancements that are made on her, the more lifelike she's going to become. Number 1. Kenshiro From the University of Tokyo comes what many people consider to be one of the most advanced robots alive today. Alive is in quotes, obviously. And not just because it can mimic parts of human behavior, but rather it can do many different tasks that can only be done via the right construction in terms of its human body. This team of scientists have built a robot called Kenshiro, 
and it was designed in such a way that it could accurately mimic the movement of humans. While this may seem like a simple task, you have to remember that a human and a robot are different in virtually every single way. We can move without a thought, while they have to move via signals and codes. That's why many early robots were very rigid in their movements, and they had no other way to do it because technology just wasn't advanced enough. Now, though, that's not the case. Kenshiro has the ability to do push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, various other exercises, and he can even play badminton. What might even be more surprising to some is that the robot is so accurate in how its muscles move that it can actually overheat and then sweats to relieve the pressure. Granted, it doesn't secrete water in terms of how we humans do it, but it is similar in style via water tubes that go out throughout the robot. The team behind Kenshiro aren't making this robot for their own sake. They feel that having a robot that can move as accurately as Kenshiro can will help in various tests that humans themselves can't perform, and it could be the next version of a crash test dummy if it even gets more advanced. Well, thanks for watching. What did you think of these robots? Are they the future, or is this just the beginning of Skynet? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.